People in America are often confused about what is and isn't their rights. When I talk about rights today, I'm talking from the perspective of, pol of a politician. I'm also talking from the perspective of being an American citizen. And when I'm talking from the perspective of being an American citizen, I am recognizing that I have rights for my life. I may have responsibilities for a child I might have, but at the same time, I'm not responsible for his decisions. The life that I choose for my life has to be based on love, honor, and regard. I cannot have anyone in my life that doesn't live their life from that simple perspective. You see, America is about providing people civil rights. Civil rights say, I have rights, but you have rights too. Civil rights says, I have these things, and so do you. But in America, most people have the three S's, of which we talked about many times. Shelter, sustenance, and service. The shelter is that roof that's over our head that keeps us out of the rain, the sleet, the snow. And hopefully it's got four walls too, so that at least you can be out of the cold. The sustenance that we care for in our bodies are the things in the food groups, the beverages that we choose to keep our internal cellular health as healthy as we can, to keep ourselves thin as well, not at all, just to keep ourselves well. And those are the things that we do. Service is that customer-oriented thing we do. It's how we serve other people in the world to make a living, to earn people giving and openly. That is the truth of life today. It's as simple as the three S's in every way. In America, we have rights, but people who take away other people's right to serve in the way that they do their job have violated your rights. People that steal your food or your food money have violated your rights. People that have interfered with your right to have a home have violated your rights. Because underneath the American Constitution, we have the right to pursue life, liberty, love, and eternal happiness in a way that's right for us that might be wrong for someone else. In America, we have rights. The rights that we have have been given to us across many international laws and many spectrums. America, Inc. is where we perform our duties to provide everything we need for our life today. If we're living above the poverty line, then that is something that we chose in some way. We didn't necessarily choose to be impoverished, but we chose a job that is keeping us impoverished. We've chose to use our free time in a way that does not allow us to move beyond being impoverished. You see, when you want to move outside of those spaces, you work on all the platforms that are expected of you today. You work in social media, you work in networking in groups, you work in educating yourself in your free time instead of watching, well, YouTube for entertainment. Sometimes I watch the occasional film for entertainment, but most of the time I'm focused on my life and how do I make my life right for me. It begins on the foundation of faith. What about you? How do you do that for you?